What's up, man? 25 Gamers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we are going to wrap up our Madden 25 Pistol Trips mini scheme uh, mm -hmm. with a nice passing play to complement our two really, really good run plays. Uh, and the play that we're going to be focusing on today, uh, we can focus on the smash, but I don't think it's the better play. I think the better play uh, that we haven't covered is the PA fullback flat. Uh, this, once again, will give us a complement to our already PA action bootleg left, and we're going to use the same or excuse me, not the PA uh, flat, but the PA counter waggle. My bad. Um, and so we're going to use that play in combination with everything else uh, to really make a very difficult offense to stop. All right. Uh, so first thing first, we want to continue to keep this consistent motion. Uh, but this time, instead of motioning uh, Heartline, we're going to motion Gibson across the formation. And uh, which is why, uh, real quickly, I want to disclaim. You do want to be changing up your motions from time to time. If you use Gibson, you can use Heartline. Uh, but in general, they will consider that motion uh, very important to our offense. Now, as you see there, uh, this route is not a route you want to throw against the zone. as I was in cover four. Uh, but what I want to show you about it is it's very good um, against man-to-man -man coverage uh, when it cuts up field. Now, this is a thing real quick. Uh, you can actually use Heartline across the formation as well. And we'll show you a, a setup like that too. But you see it's a user catch kind of route um, that you can use. Now let me show you with Heartline, bringing Heartline across. Um, his route is the same kind of concept, but it's not as uh, it's not as clearly opening. So what we would do with this is make it like a mesh concept over the middle. And then that would be our first read. And then Heartline is just a user catch downfield. Okay. So that's a quick two things that you can check out with this play. Uh, as far as man goes, um, this is when it comes to zone, like I said, I like to put Keller on a slant route, and then I'll put the running back on like a streak probably. And against zone, you just want to read the mesh patterns. Uh, typically, you're going to have nice little reads over the over the middle of the field when you use those concepts, uh, just because they do a nice job at, at beating the majority of the coverage. Another thing you can do is an option route, blue route your running back, a lot of different options with your running back. I typically will wheel route him, put him on a streak or whatever I want to do. Um, but the main thing I want to show you is this deep post route. Uh, against zone and man does a really good job and that's why we have our number one receiver on that uh, outside spot uh, for this uh, specifically for that route concept um, because it does a very good job of beating man and also does a very good job uh, of beating zone so we're going to show it to you again we're going to pass it to the inside and you want to click on and cut it off and as you see you get a nice animation okay and then one other quick disclaimer I want to show you uh, what we want to do against a blitz so if we if we're blamed if we're being uh, blitzed heavily uh, whether it be man or zone, typically this will always be open. Uh, is this slant route to Dustin Keller is typically our, our blitz beater. Our slant route to Keller uh, or our little cross, uh, crossing route to uh, Gibson. Okay, and So there's a lot of other things that we could go into detail on uh, with this, but I want you guys to kind of expand on these concepts and make this scheme your own. Um, but this little play here, uh, the main routes I wanted to discuss real quick before we leave, is I wanted to, to discuss the Gibson route and how it does a good job of getting beating man coverage, uh, whether it be motioned or not. I then wanted to show the versatility of Mike Wallace's route, and then it can beat man and zone coverage. And then I uh, thirdly wanted to suggest to you the crossing patterns as a method uh, to beat the blitz or even the cover two sink or zone or whatever you want to do. But uh, I frequently the pressure will get beat by those crossing patterns. Okay, guys? So that's the video for today. I want you guys to put, do me a favor, and if you are not already, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can be updated when we get new videos. And then lastly, I want you to do me another favor if you're already subscribed, and please share this video on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, just give me a chance, opportunity to give this video some more exposure. Thank you guys for your time, and we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to have a new scheme coming out.